bargains. Everyone loves a bargain. Step right up, step right up. Have we got a bargain for you? Up to 75% off at some of Phuket's best locations. Great bargains. Go on, visit the phuketnews.com and click on bargains now. Hello, D. Knapp, and welcome to Phuket Extra Extra, where we take a look at the top five stories of the week. I'm JP Mastanza, and this week, this news headlines have been dominated by the fatal ferry boat sinking last Sunday near Ayutthaya. Now, it was 150 passengers on a boat that was only meant for 50 people, and 28 people lost their lives. Meanwhile, here in Phuket, the new international terminal finally opened last week by Prime Minister Prayu Chanucha. And what's going on with that? Well, let's take a look. And finally, cultural sensitivities have spurred many academics and experts to slam a music video promoting Thai tourism, since it shows the evil Thai ogre Totsakan doing things that are, quote, inappropriate. Totsakan is a major figure in Thailand's classic story, the Ramakien, portrayed as an intimidating yet elegant figure. The four-minute video shows a group of actors dressed as several characters from the Thai epic, but Totsakan is specifically shown doing things like driving go-karts, taking selfies, and even cooking coconut cream cakes. After meeting with several academics and Thai cultural experts earlier this week, the director is still defending the use of the character, saying if the characters are untouchable and kept on the shelf, they will eventually die. A revised version is expected next week. 800 million baht. That's the cost of the construction of the new Rajabakti Park, which will sit on nearly 200 rye of land at Surin Beach. Construction will begin this October, according to Vice Governor Chuck D. Amornwad, as officials say they plan to use this space as a way to honor their majesties, the King and Queen of Thailand, since they visited Surin Beach back in 1959. About a quarter of the land will be turned into a botanical garden with attractions and monuments, including seven statues honoring past Thai kings from the Sukhothai period. A museum honoring the royal family will also be constructed, and despite construction on the parking lot and small gardens beginning next month, officials did not announce a timetable for completion on the new park. Australian members of the Hells Angels motorcycle gang are being hunted down by Pattaya police after a vicious beating of two Thai men last Saturday. The incident was captured on CCTV cameras at a local Pattaya market and happened when the foreigner's pickup truck allegedly crashed into the motorbike of one of the Thai men, which was parked. What happened next is still a bit unclear, as some in the media reported that two Thai men then smashed the biker's car with bricks, which led to the three-on-two assault. According to Khao Saad, however, both Thai men are now in the hospital and immigration police are assisting authorities in Pattaya in the case. And the death toll is now at 26 people from Sunday's tragic boat accident which sunk in the middle of the Chao Praia River and now marine authorities are saying that the lack of safety precautions was a major factor. The boat was carrying 150 people from a religious ceremony in Ayutthaya when it hit an embankment near a temple and sunk as 50 people were still being treated for injuries as nearly three others remain missing in the water by last counts. The dead include an 8-year-old boy and a 13-year-old girl, and authorities have charged 67-year-old Widach Chai Sirikul, who was steering the boat with recklessness causing death, overloading the boat beyond capacity, and a third charge, sailing without a valid license. Authorities say that one of the major factors that led to the incident is a lack of follow-through and enforcement of boat safety procedures, especially considering the boat had a capacity of 50 passengers despite carrying 150. More on this story as it develops. 
And Prime Minister Prayu chan cha is promising Phuket Governor Chamruen that his government will find the money that's needed for Phuket to finish a host of projects that are sorely needed on the island. Among them include the long-discussed light rail system, the underpass projects, and the Phuket Expressway. The PM made the comments during a discussion at Phuket Rajabat University on Friday, which also saw over 500 Phuket sea gypsies attend as they were pleading to stave off forced relocation from their village in Rawai. The PM had visited the island to preside over the launch of the Startup Thailand and Digital Thailand 2016 event, as well as the opening of the international terminal at the Phuket airport. And speaking of the airport, officials are already expressing their concerns that the new terminal could already be over capacity despite opening just last week. With the expansion, the airport is poised to handle 12.5 million travelers a year. But projections from the airport of Thailand say that we're on track to handily surpass that number by the end of this year and it could go as high as 20%. Former AOT President Mekin Petplai says there had been plans to upgrade the airport to handle 18 million by 2018, though that project was shelved. The new international terminal is housed in a 73,000 square meter building with five baggage claim points, inbound immigration hall with 19 counters, while the departure lounge has 96 check-in counters and there are 11 x-ray machines at security. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Well, that's it for all of us here at Phuket Extra Extra. Try to stay dry out there over the weekend as the rains keep battering the island with a lot of water coming from the sky. Catch us on Phuket Extra on Monday where we'll catch you up with all the news you missed over the weekend. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Buongiorno. Bonjour. Hey. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Buenos dias. Nin hao. Здравствуйте. Привет. Guten Tag, ich spreche Deutsch. Sawadee kap. We are ready to provide international medical service with warm Thai hospitality. Call us at 1719.